Welcome back to our channel once again. We are back. I am Emoli Edwin. He's uh, Dennis Ketor. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. We are the Gatekeepers TV. And of course, Champions League is always a beautiful football. You see people smiling. Uh, for the Bayern Munich fans, they're not smiling, but that's game. That's football. Mm -hmm. Benfica fans are not smiling. That, that's football. After tonight, some people won't be smiling. That's still football. Mm -hmm. mm, between Real Madrid and Chelsea, the match which we've brought you previously, one of them won't be smiling. That's football. Another match that one of them won't be smiling, AC Milan against Napoli. This match will be played at exactly 10 p.m. AC Milan will be at home against Napoli. And before we get straight into it, actually Victor Simhen is a doubt. Not a doubt. He will completely be out of the game. He won't play. Yeah, he won't play. It was confirmed, right? By the club or president or who? Yes. So Victor Simhen will miss the first leg of their Champions League tie against the Milan. It's official. Now, Napoli, let's talk about Napoli without Victor Simhen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they conceded 4-0. Uh, you remember? AC Milan did that thing. They met in the Serie A. They met the same, same AC Milan. Yes, the same, same. AC Milan won by 4-0. Yes. Ah, yeah. So guys, Taking it back to you guys again, another day, another Champions League, another happy face for all you football and Champions League lovers. So, uh, who will be at home? AC Milan. <laughs> they are all at home. They are all in Italy. So it is. <laughs> it's an Italian. The grounds are so familiar. Actually. The grounds are so familiar. Mm -hmm. So, uh, taking it back to you, we love doing this. Uh, in the first leg, how did these teams fare? How did they find themselves here, Pogba? So. Uh, as you confirm for us the Napoli game, I will start by saying this. Uh, how did um, AC Milan find themselves in the quarterfinals? Mm -hmm. AC Milan are here courtesy of Tottenham. Uh, remember, they won 1-0 mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Then when they came to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, mm -hmm. when they faced each other, mm -hmm. they had to come there and just force a wonderful draw. Mm -hmm. I remember that game was intense. Harry Kane, Son, Kudusovetsky tried their level best, but they could not find a goal. True. So then the 0 0 goal, uh, the 0 0 draw at uh, Tottenham mm -hmm. actually costed Tottenham. That is how they were eliminated with a 1 0 goal difference. Mm -hmm. So that is how uh, AC Milan were able to sail through. So AC Milan in the Champions League, it's not a place which they are not used to, it's a familiar territory. Remember the last time they won this Champions League was in 2005. We all remember that squad of Kaka and of course those leg legendary players. Mm -hmm. uh, but since then it has not been all rosy for AC Milan in the Champions League. Things have not been going well. Because I remember the last time they were in this level or in this stage of the quarterfinals was back in sometimes around 2012. So since then until now AC Milan have been wavering. And on the flip side, when you look at Napoli, Napoli is their first time ever to be in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So which means history is, is about to be written. Napoli, they are the highest scoring team so far in the Champions League. Uh, all the matches which have been played, they have been scoring goals left, right and center. On the other side, AC Milan have not been scoring uh, such an amount of goals in the Champions League. But welcome to Champions League where everything happens. So meanwhile, Pogba, mm -hmm. how did Napoli fare? How did they find themselves in the quarterfinals? Well, Napoli played against a team called Inc. Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. They won that game by three goals to nil. Oh. Remember? Mm -hmm. Three goals to nil, which made them qualify for the quarterfinals mm -hmm. for the first time in their history. Sure. Uh, that time, I remember they were scoring goals. I, actually, that was the least amount of goals they scored in a single match <laughs> because they were scoring four, mm -hmm. five, four, five, then they scored three nil. Uh -huh. So they got past Eng Frankfurt mm -hmm. and now they're here to the quarterfinals. Although they're lacking the main man, mm -hmm. which is a very big blow, to be honest, mm -hmm. it's a very big blow to them. And uh, playing against a team you, you played uh, some few days back, they thrashed you four nil. Um, I think it's going to be a huge, huge, huge task for Napoli and their coach. 
Very, very, very true. That one I have to agree with you. Uh, whatever Pogba is referring to was the Syria match, whereby uh, SCB Land decided to do what they do best at their best. So they won against Napoli 4 0, which was a surprise considering that uh, Napoli have been on the rise. Uh, they're currently the league leaders back there, and chances are if they maintain their impressive form, they're going to actually uh, win uh, the Syria. Uh, trophy. Uh, that aside, um, they are meeting in uh, in a fortnight. These people are meeting once again after a few days of facing each other. So the question is, can Napoli bounce back? Can they come back and pounce back and actually have their revenge served here in the Champions League? Because as it's as we've seen so far, they have been the most impressive team in the Champions League. Uh, we quoted them yesterday, them, Napoli, Benfica, Bayern, Man City, and Real. That is in terms of a prolific number of goals, scoring a lot of goals. They have been doing the same. So scoring goals is not an issue, but that was that line of scoring goals was actually seen last when they met with AC Milan uh, because the match ended 4-0 and they didn't score anything. So the question is, do, we, do you think, Pogba, that when they meet tonight, uh, there are higher chances that even without Victor Osimhen, they're going to get inspirations to actually get goals past AC Milan. I think it will be upon the coach um, because you must have learned something. They say a good coach is never beaten twice. Mm. Well, this guy meeting the same same team in the Serie A that beat you four 0 without your main man, you're coming to meet them again. AC Milan will be at home facing an injured, let me say, Napoli. Yes, an injured Napoli. And uh, this one is similar. Oh, Napoli, they have a very, uh, a very, very, very hard task on them, considering the fact that SMLA now know that they can trust them more than three goals, and that will be done the first leg before their main man comes. Mm. So, um, pressure is with Napoli. Mm -hmm. Pressure is with Napoli, but you don't defend, you just attack. Pressure is mounting. So having said that, Pogba, I feel like uh, we are actually bracing up for a very interesting Italian derby. I know Italians are happy because one thing for sure, Italy knows that they have a team in the semi-finals. <laughs> because, but the other sad thing is one of their team must be eliminated uh, at the end of these uh, quarterfinals. So uh, having said that, I feel my favorite part, the part which I know you've been waiting for, our special predictions on these matches. Uh, remember yesterday uh, on our predictions, uh, <laughs> there's one prediction which we totally got it wrong and we apologize. <laughs> the Benfica versus Inter Milan. Mm. Uh, we thought that the away team would lose but Kumbe they came with a different game plan eh? mm. which worked for them. So I don't know. What do you think? Are you, are you going to underestimate an away team today? Well, uh, we really, really apologize <laughs> because Benfica coming into, they were the only, they were the second <coughs> most side which has not lost any. They, they had not lost any by the way. But they lost. Yes, they finally they lost. Mm. So that means I'm not underestimating an away team. But today, Napoli winning I see a draw. You see a draw. To be honest, I see a two to draw. Mm. Mm. Just to be honest with that. Guys, today's game, if you ask me, also for me, I'm confused. It's a tricky fixture. AC Milan being at home, Napoli being away. Let me say this. Uh, I want to give AC Milan an opportunity to win this game by one goal to nil. But I can assure them that in the return leg, Napoli will overturn that and they're going to qualify in the semi final. So tonight, give it to the home team to win by one nil. They are not getting anything. Actually, I have a feeling that they'll go to this match of a confident, thinking that these people are so much wounded. It will end in a draw. It will be decided when Osimhen is back because I believe he'll be back for the second leg. But guys, remember to keep it the Gatekeepers TV. This is where we'll be breaking to you all those news as they happen and how they happen. So I think uh, we leave you with a congratulatory message for Alan Haaland. He's currently the top scorer of the Champions League with 12 goals. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the things he's doing at his age, he's doing things which Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo did not even achieve at their age. So uh, give it up to the new upcoming goat in the football world. Mm -hmm. So as you can see on your screen, those are the number of goals which this guy has amassed. Um, at 22 years old. So, Hala, 
Hala Haaland. Hala Haaland. No, that's a tagline for Real Madrid. <laughs> but also, let's see how it goes. Otherwise, have a good one. So until next time, subscribe.